yeah, well, so my first question about Heroes of the Storm would be like, um, what are you planning for esports in uh, Heroes of the Storm, as it would be an esports title, I guess? Um, you have something in mind like WCS, something similar, or uh, what are your plans for that game? So esports for Heroes of the Storm is something that we're just going to take what the community desires, basically. We're, we are not setting it up to necessarily be an eSport. We are trying to make it, we're really focusing on the core game and making sure it's a fun game to play. If it turns into an eSport, uh, I think the community will, will demonstrate that they want that. They will start shoutcasting it and doing their own things. Um, to give a sampling of what that's like, we actually have a shoutcast here tomorrow. I'd encourage you to take a look and see, see what you think. Um, but ultimately, we're focusing first on that. If it does tend to start going that direction, then we will back it up. We have a dedicated esports team. They deal with StarCraft 2 today. They deal with WarCraft 3. They deal with World of WarCraft. So we have the capability, but we want to see what, what the community makes of it, and, and we'll go from there. Um, so there's no uh, concrete tournament announced yet so far? Yeah, um, that's right. That's, uh, well, there is no announced okay. so tournament. Well, it would be only a multiplayer title. It is, yeah. So Heroes of the Storm is a multiplayer title, um, although it can be played cooperatively against AI. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be always versus other people, so it does have both elements. Okay. Um, how is uh, monetization working? Is it um, like, for example, in uh, League of Legends, you have to buy champions. In Dota, you have not to buy champions, mm -hmm. but you can buy uh, some items. Or is it uh, something very different from that? Well, we're not going into deep detail um, to today or at BlizzCon, but we will be getting into that soon. But what I can say is that uh, it's an unlock mechanism, so things unlock across time to the player, both champions and heroes, uh, maps and map mechanics. Uh, the whole thing does that, and you do earn, and we'll, you'll be able to spend what you earn. Okay. Um, yeah, some uh, questions about eSports again. Um, I assume there would be an observer mode. Uh, so, um, will it be something similar, more like in League of Legends, or more like you have in Dota, probably uh, also Heroes of the Storm, television, in-game commentary, or uh, you stick it simple first? Yeah, so this is built on, Heroes of the Storm is built on what we internally call the Galaxy platform or engine, which StarCraft 2 is also built on, so they will share technology across both games. Right now we're focused on the core gameplay, um, but the fact that it is sharing that platform means that we will be at parity with the observer modes and capabilities that you see in StarCraft 2, and we will continue to add future uh, capabilities, things like you refer to uh, some of the online modes you've seen in some of the other games, like um, where, where you can go in and, and basically watch almost as if as in TV. That's things that we're looking at, but they're not on the on the radar just yet. But they're on their way. But so that does mean if you implement that, it would be also implemented in uh, StarCraft II. Yeah, I mean that's the sort of that's the sort of thing we're doing. So for example, um, we are working on a rejoin feature, um, and that rejoin feature will, will, as we figure out how it applies to StarCraft II and when, um, we can bring that rejoin feature back over to StarCraft II as well. Another question, uh, well, you have uh, very strong competitors now with uh, League of Legends and uh, also with Dota. Um, what would be your USP? Is it the whole um, universe or, um, yeah, w what are your plans to, to be uh, probably number one MOBA title? Uh, I, that's really not a goal for us, so we're not trying to, um, we've done this now multiple times. If you even look at StarCraft, RTSs were extremely popular at the time, and we went out with our, our take and our angle on RTS Blizzard's take on that. If you look at card games, especially if you take mobile and um, tablet into consideration, there's a lot of them out there. And Hearthstone is actually, I think, a good representation of here's Blizzard doing our take on, on card games. Um, so I, I, th I look at Heroes of the Storm very similar to that. There's a genre, there's lots of great games in the genre, and here's Blizzard's take on it. And there's no goal to, to say, anything about any other game other than make the game we want to play and hopefully people will love it and that that's kind of how we look at it. there's no um, no other angle than that okay 
so some um, facts probably about the game. Um, you just announced the registration uh, for the beta is open. Mm -hmm. um, is there already a date out for, for the beta, for, probably for the closed beta? Yeah, closed beta we want to get out in the first half of 2014. Um, so as quickly as possible, the gameplay is getting very solid. We're, we're very happy with what we're seeing. There's still more heroes and um, even more maps that we want to add, but uh, the, the things that are left to do are finalizing that stuff, but really a lot more about the technologies of unlocking content, um, purchase mechanics, things like that, that we're still working on. And um, how about the game mode? Would be like classical five on five, or you have a three on three, what would be the focus on? And um, is it, you just mentioned different maps, so mm -hmm. I just assume they're gonna work differently. From mm -hmm. each other. Yes. So you have a totally different gameplay, I guess. Yeah, so um, that's a huge focus of this. Um, we, I, we boil the game down really into three parts the Epic Blizzard Heroes, Fun with Friends, and then Battlegrounds. And, and they really, we're calling them Battlegrounds because they're not just maps, they're not just layout changes, they are game mechanic changes. Um, so we have four that we're displaying here at BlizzCon. Um, they completely change strategically what you and your partners need to do on a map. And that's really what we're after with this whole thing is, is making that variety and making that challenge as you, as you go into a different battleground, we, we now strategically need to come up with what, how are we going to be most effective with the heroes we've chosen um, in this given situation. So uh, that's definitely a big part of it. They are, they, the map side of it is, is a focus for us. And I'm now forgetting the second part of the question because um, it was more than just variety of map. Sorry. It was just variety of map or yeah. game modes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, game modes. So then, then the other side was 5v5. Yeah, 5v5 is our focus. We don't intend to go lower than that for now, but absolutely in the future, who knows? We're getting already pretty crazy with the variety in these different battlegrounds. Could we go and add a 3v3 uh, type of battleground? Absolutely. Um, but that's not a focus for at least through the beta. In open beta, who knows? And then beyond this, this is a game that's going to live for, we think, a very long time. And so we expect to have lots of different things go into this game. How about custom maps? Will there be a custom map uh, or will it be possible to make uh, own maps? Oh, yeah. So custom, custom maps is something that this platform, this engine supports uh, very well. You know, we've seen it with StarCraft 2. There's amazing stuff the community has done that's already out there. We do want to work custom g maps into Heroes of the Storm. When that will happen, I don't know. It's not a goal for our closed and open beta for a preliminary launch, but I do expect it to happen not, not too far after that. Um, yeah, and it will also be a free-to-play title, I guess. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It will be free-to-play. Um, so, as it is free-to-play, how many heroes uh, will you have for the very beginning, mm -hmm. just estimated, and um, is it planned, for example, if you add another franchise to implement then heroes of another franchise, or um, how is this going to work? Okay, so, so for the first part of the question on how many heroes, we're not actually targeting a specific number, we don't think we have to hit you know, some magical number to be ready. We just want enough variety in the heroes. Uh, we don't think we have enough yet. We're showcasing 18. Um, we def we have more back at home that are in basically in the shop being developed right now that are actually playing very well. Um, and there will be more, but I don't, I actually don't have a number because we don't know ourselves. I think what we want to, what we're concentrating on is making sure each of these heroes plays uniquely the way they should play based on what you know about that hero. Arthas feels like Arthas, Kerrigan feels like Kerrigan, um, that we're hitting those right notes and that uh, honestly I, my, my personal view is that we want a less is more approach with um, really more depth in the heroes uh, and less concern about the overall pantheon even though we have a, a great, great um, pantheon of, of things, lore, ba background to pick from. We could do many, many, many um, I, I don't think that's going to be a driving goal for us, is to get the great ones in there. Um, how is it about um, creating own, for example, items or item skins, like you have in uh, Dota, for example, or uh, Counter-Strike, like Belfast offering mm, for the game side? No, that's not something that we're focusing on right now, but the map side of it is where that would come through, and that would be something we would look into. It, it's not necessarily a sales area, other than people I, we haven't really even gotten into the details of that, but customizing it would be so people can bring their versions of the gameplay that they like. Um, if, if there's a different type of battleground that they want to create, that's something that we'd like to see when we do 
the customization side of it from the battleground perspective. Um, how is it about service? Have you, um, like in StarCraft, mm -hmm. the EU server, North American server, mm -hmm. Korean server, and um, is it global play available? Yeah, we're still talking through those specifics because it becomes a little bit more difficult with the business model side of it, but I expect at launch, at least at the moment, for it to be very similar to what you see today. You can go where you want to go, but likely the, the answer will be you, you're unlocking what you unlock within each region. So if, the, if that makes sense, so if you play in North America commonly, in North America commonly, you're going to, that's where your hero roster is going to be. And, and then if you wanted to go play on the Korean servers, you could do that, but you're kind of starting from the ground again. Uh, okay. Food cool. Yeah, but you can ask one, yeah, go ahead. Do you have any more? Um, I think okay. I didn't. Release date? <laughs> Release date? No. I mean, I, the the best I can tell you, honestly, if I knew, I would be a genius. Um, we we're, we're always challenged with making sure we get the, we're hitting all the right notes and uh, the, the game is coming together the way it needs to. And right now, feeling very good about the gameplay itself, but it's all these other technical details, business decisions. How does it work within the regions? What can we do that's right for this game? And that stuff's I I couldn't even give you a date if I wanted to. But the date I can give you is closed beta. We are trying to hit closed beta in the first half of 2014. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! That's good. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Um, well, we're not there yet, but we're uh, maybe. I mean, that's something we generally, as soon as it goes closed, we open it up to press very, very quickly, um, and then the sign up for others is, is the best we can do right now, and and we'll see. But it's going to be a it's going to be a slow release as we go through and get more and more and more people onto the service. So. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you, by the way.